All right, hello everyone. Uh, I wanted to take this time to go over a few brief concepts about the Golf Clash Notebook slider positioning. Uh, you can see here, I'm going to use this quarterback. Um, there's a set procedure that you want to do. You always want to scan this range. Now, I'm going to be using the overpower. So, typically know that there's about 5%, 5 to 7% of overpower. So, I'll typically use four drives. I'll use uh, somewhere between 5 to 10% overplay. Now, so that's the first thing that you'll want to do is just try to set that up. And here you can see that I'm going to do that. And then I'll pull this up and I'll go the 10 rings and then set up my uh, offset as well. You can see that I kind of curled it back just to kind of hold the line. So that's typically what I'll do for drives. And you can see, you know, I did catch a great ball there towards the right, but had I hit perfect ball, you know, that would have been more or less exactly what I want. Now, keep in mind, I use the plus 5 plus the 10% on overpower drives. If I wasn't using the overpower drive, I'd probably stick a little bit closer to 0%. All right, hello. This is going to show you a procedural method as to how to play with the new wind directional too. So tool for the Golf Clash Notebook. So the first thing that you'll see is I pull up on the, on the positioning to figure out where I am in terms of uh, the club. So here you can see I have the wind direction set up. I may fall somewhere right up here, but I'm going to be pulling up towards max. So I'm going to use the slider positioning that is more related to max. And you'll see that I'm pulling that up and aside from that, I'm just going to kind of get my ball guide set similar to this. And then I'll pull up seven ish rings up close to that 90% marker. Now, it would have helped if I would have hit the perfect ball, but you can see that's how I'm going to uh, go about aiming this. And you can see with the perfect ball, it probably would have shot in towards the hole. And that's the procedure that you need to get in the habit of doing. Anytime that I forget to scan first, you'll see that it just slows me down. It delays. I, I, I usually won't go back in because right now you only have kind of one. You'll see that we reset it to make sure that you guys don't forget to turn off uh, any of the wind direction or to make sure that everything fully resets and you don't get bogus values, everything resets. So you only get one time to go in. So the first, you know, just watch this video back and just do it systematically the exact same way that I do. And keep in mind that that slider positioning, it's always where you're pulling up to, not where you start your shot. Good luck.